Okay, today we're going to be talking about stacks, and before we get into the technical definition of stacks, we're going to ask a couple average people what comes to mind when they first hear the word stack. Okay, Jay, what comes to mind when you hear the word stack? I think of a stack of objects, maybe, uh, uh, maybe lions or hippos. Alright, what comes to mind when you hear the word stack? I think I would pick poker. Hmm. I think I'm poker. I think of uh, think of, uh smoke sacks. Smoke sacks. Andrew? Chips. Poker chips. In actuality, when we're talking about computer science, a stack is a, a collection of objects that follows the last in, first out pr principle. And what I mean by that is, say in theory we create a stack of uh, book objects. We stack them like this, just like you would think of a normal stack. One on top of the other. So if we say that we have a stack of books like this, the last in first out principle means that since we put this one in last, this is the first object we have to take off of the stack. You can't reach down to the bottom of the stack. Problem. Okay, so let's reconstruct our stack. Putting our objects. Well, since a class, or since the stack is a class that extends vector, um, there are a few operations, a uh, few methods that we can call on a stack. And one of these is empty, which returns a Boolean value. In this case, since we have objects in the stack, it would return false. The peak method allows you to look at the top object of the stack without removing it from the stack. Oh god, that's scary. The pop function, or the pop method, allows you to pop off the first object and return it. In this case, it's like the peak, but it gives you the object and removes it from the stack. Uh, the push method pushes an object back onto the top of the stack. So if we refer back to the pop method, when we pop off the top object, and we'd like to reorder them, we could push the discrete mathematics on top of the stack, and then push this one back on top of that to create a new stack order. The search method allows you to search through a stack and report the one base location of an object in the stack. And what that means is this would refer to the one location in the stack. So if you're searching for uh, this book, you would count down from here and find the uh, location is 8. 